along on Wednesday. Thank you for joining us here in the quilt shop. We are working on a very beautiful, um, I'd say it's like everything to do with sewing sort of quilt top. I, sh I will get the name of it. It is a beautiful piece. It's done by Joe Marie and it has lots of applique on it. Like it's, this is all stitched, uh, made and then hand stitched all the way around and down here with these beautiful flowers. And this is obviously an applique here and we don't want to go over this with the long arm or anything, do we? No, we don't, no, no, no. So we want to go around and just highlight all this beautifulness, right? She did stitch these little antennas up, apart here or got them to adhere, but these ones are a little loose. So I'm just, I'm going to try and treat them just as something loose. I'll just go around just a little bit there. But uh, we got first some uh, beautiful stuff just going, Walt's going to stitch it up in the border. And then I'm going to work on the centerpiece. So this is actually going to be a two part series as me working my way through this quilt. So come join me this week and next week for how this uh, comes together. Okay. Just clean up a few little random threads. That's what happens. I chose a strawberry blonde thread for this uh, just because I think it would be such a beautiful thread just to kind of make everything blend. There's got lots of little peachy colors and uh, strawberry blonde colors throughout the project. So, all right, let's get going. Come on, Walt. Go stitch them up. We have first off going in a modern flower. I am starting it past over here because it does this little scooping and then it does the circle for the flowers. I didn't want that scoop part to be on the border itself. So I'm putting it off. Yes, I know it's that's where it's starting. That's where I wanted it to start. Okay. I also have the plate the ruler plate underneath because I will be doing some ruler work as I, we get to the center here and uh, working our way around the flowers, do some free motion and some ruler work, okay? okay. Beautiful. Right. So I have one pattern stitching out into the green section here, as you can see green and dotted section. And then I'll have another one stitching out in this cream section here. You'll see both of these ones here today. Pretty little flower. It's got a flower and then a little leaf. It was playing with the theme. As you will see, this whole shape is in the project itself. Uh, so playing with the theme of that with the orange peels that go within the quilt project. So it's going to look beautiful. And it is directional. The backing is directional. I made sure to, when I pieced it that it was it was lined up nicely. It looks pretty. And, um, and then uh, put it directional on the quilt itself because it sits this way from top to bottom. So therefore the fabric needs to sit from top to bottom. Yeah, I wanted to add just a little something extra on the border and then of course the inside definitely needs custom quilting because of all the prettiness and the hand touch, all the hand sewing onto it for so for sure. And um, there's some beautiful, um, there's a, a whirl block and then there's a, um, the clamshells, hexagons, it's all in this beautiful, beautiful quilt. I can't, I can't wait for you guys to see it. And thank you, Joe Marie, for the opportunity to quilt up this beautiful quilt. Oh, so pretty. I love that little green fabric. It looks like little butterflies or, or something. They're really, it's really tiny, whatever it is. Just leaving that under there. So pretty. Hope you are continuing to um, keep up with your New Year's, want to get stuff done, cleaning out the closet, so on and so forth. <laughs> Finishing up projects. Like we have a lot of quilt tops to quilt around here, so I'm very excited to get those done. And we have a few projects that we want to do on the long arm itself. Okay. Stitch and go or quilt as you go for a jelly roll race or just plain piecing, doing it all on the long arm. Saving that extra step from machine to the long arm. Pretty. 
Almost done. The flower comes all the way to the end here and the other polka dots. I love the pieced border, the colored border. It's so pretty. It's a great, fantastic way of using all your fabrics. And it helps pull colors together throughout, the quilt, your, throughout your quilt project. Sorry. No, this is kind of pretty much a mix of everything. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a, a quilt project together, but all orphan blocks. I mean, maybe that could be it. I will have to ask her. All right. Okay, so it's done on that border piece. So it's gonna. I'm gonna make sure as I'm going throughout this, that stitching the top. There's a border piece that's going in here, and then I'm gonna free and ruler the center of it. And then when I get to the other end, it's gonna be the stitching in here for Walt, and then same with the flower, but it's gonna be in the reverse order. So I'm gonna make it so the flower is going around the quilt like this, okay? So it's just surrounding it like a frame. Okay, so now we're gonna go and scoot it across. You can see some more of the beautiful work with on this project. Okay. There's a button. There's a button right here, very 3D. You certainly wouldn't want Walt's head banging up against that on an edge to edge. It's definitely a custom. Oh, look at that. Look at that fussy cut. Look at that face. That's beautiful. Okay, sorry, focus. <laughs> Squirrel. Okay, continue. So now it's going to move up to the position here, and it's just going to do a gentle little curve all the way to the other end. Just a gentle little curve. Nothing too dense to uh, take away from probably the more of a, uh, a denser quilting in the center, but it still needs to be uh, stitched down and I didn't want it to include it with the uh, green. I thought it would be looking pretty just all on its own. Just a little something. Doesn't have to be too fancy. It can look like a fence or piles of uh, dirt or gold in the yard. I would love to have gold in the yard. <laughs> I don't got piles of gold. I got piles of dirt. It's just a gentle curve. Feel very Bob Ross-ish there. <laughs> gentle curve. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. And this again, I'll just do again the gentle curve down the side. So once I'm done this whole part of it from top and bottom, I will take it off the long arm and then piece it so this border here, the side borders are top and bottom, and then work my way on where the border is there. Okay. So that's that. Now I'm going to take the ruler plate off. I'm not the ruler plate off. I'm going to take it off the belts. I'm sorry, the ruler plate is on. I want it on. And then I'm going to change it to six, uh, sorry, 12 stitches per inch. And we'll do a little ruler work up here. So continue. It's on manual. 12 stitches per inch. And you can tell it's off the belt. And what I want to do for this one, I kind of just want to come in each one. I want to kind of come inside the, like, the little diamond shape, right? So let's start off at the top. Give ourselves a little tail, a couple little back stitches, lock it in. Okay. And then we're just going to butt up our ruler plate up against the edge of the foot. Okay. And then just hug it. Don't want to really necessarily go in the seam, but you want to go like right beside it. I'm just going to highlight each piece really. Don't forget to breathe and take your time. It's not a race that I know of. Okay, now I'm going to go across and work on the purple. Actually, I should probably go across first. So what's your goal for this year? Is your, do you know how to use rulers or you want to experiment more? I love to experiment more because there's no way I know everything there is to know about rulers. There's no way. 
And I've, I've experimented very little on shaped rulers, more just a flat edge or a curved edge to help with um, piecing. Okay, so now I want to be able to come back down. We're going to do a couple of little ha quilts, um, like stitching ups on quilts, especially like a meander. I've been asked to do a video on meandering, a few different types of meanders, so we'll be doing that. Does anybody have any other suggestions or videos that you would like to see? We do, we do try and pay attention and, and, and do what, what, what is uh, wanted. In regards to that, it's just doing something specific as for the long arm itself, right? Okay, now there, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go in this one here. I don't want to over quilt it either, right? I would just want to be able to kind of give it enough so it looks pretty, it highlights all the lovely little blocks. This block with the like the rectangle, rectangle making the square, and then the half square triangles on top of that. So, like, is that a shoe fly block? There's, there's so many blocks in all the names, it's hard, hard, hard to uh, sometimes remember them all. Okay. We're going to go over this way. We're going to go down here. I don't think I'll be able to get all the way because my ruler plate's in the way. But we'll try. So, ooh, ooh, there it stops right there. Good, 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 good. Okay, pretty little points on this one. Just going to treat each block as its own little individual nest because it's all got some different stitching and quilting styles. The key point is definitely breathing. Just breathe. Okay. Okay, well, that's all we get to go for Walt because of the ruler plate. Okay, that's all right. Tie those in. I'm going to come up over here and we're going to go around these little three guys, okay? So let's try and start off in the center. 
Okay, and I can use the edge of my ruler here to help guide me around those curves. Okay, and then we'll just stitch along here and then follow the curve some more. Okay, and come down here. This is just a, a chunk of plexi that Pop made for me. It's actually broken off from a piece. So I said if you could just round that off a little bit, it would make a fantastic long arm ruler and it has done, <laughs> done the job for like seven years. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're gonna give those little tails so we can tuck them in. Okay, so that's all the way around that one. And then we'll come over and do the same thing. So stick with me as I continue to stitch up this beautiful, beautiful project. And uh, you'll see how it comes together and all the beautiful like stitching that's in it. There's a lot of hand um, stitching on top for sure. Definitely a hand turned applique. And I absolutely love it. I love the flowers. I love the butterflies. I love that extra little button right there of that purple heart. It just gets you, just gets you. Love the fabric that's in here. It seems like a lot of tulip pink. And um, yeah, definitely. And I, even, I think I even have some of this fabric somewhere because she's gifted me a lot of fabric in the past. <laughs> she definitely has. Um, so thank you. Uh, and like I said, watch next week to see how this all comes out. Okay, thanks everybody. We'll see you soon. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern for our live stream.